But let's start at the beginning. We have the King of Wands. And wands are all about motion. Kings are about the higher level things. So this can be about status. This can be about wealth. In, um, your influence is good fortune. Um, being fair-minded and honest is when this shows up. It's being fair-minded and honest. So there may be some conversations that you are currently having with people to resolve some of these challenges over the last five months. It does feel like cleanup time for you, Libra, but keep it real. When the King of Wands shows up here, keep it in integrity, be honest, be forthright, set your boundaries very clearly and follow them. Um, if this is a person, this would be a fire sign. So that would be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So this may, uh, this conversation may involve a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. What crosses you here is the Ace of Cups. So this Ace of Cups, Cups are the higher uh, levels of things. It's the hand of God. Uh, cups are all about emotions and um, being forthright. So this does look like being honest. It does look like uh, you, you may have been forced into a corner of some kind over the last couple of months. But with this aces here, this can be anywhere from a birth of a child to, to new love or a soulmate. So this king of wands, it can be a female or a male. This can be someone that you are expressing your desires to. Um, or it could be someone that you just need to clean up some things. But it does feel like someone that is in the heart, whether it is a lover or a friend in the heart or a family member. This does... Uh, involve some emotions of the heart. So it does feel like you have to tread a little lightly. You know, this Ace of Swords here also can remind us to keep our words less biting. Don't slash through anybody's um, great ideas <laughs> type of thing. But with the King of Wands, it's reminding you to be in your honesty and be in your integrity. Say the hard words that you need to um, in order to kind of facilitate those changes coming forth. We have the Knight of Wands here. The Wands are about motion and fire. Knights are about motion and movement. So it does feel like you may have been sitting on, on something and waiting for a while. Now is the time to bring motion to those ideas. It can also mean good news about your work or activity. Positive change can even mean travel. Uh, can even mean travel, uh, but it does require some motion. So it does feel like one of these ideas that you've been kind of sitting on, stewing on, collecting information. Now it's time to put forth some energy behind that idea. And it could be um, anything from a job or something in your personal life or your health. So it does require some action. So it's not just thinking about it, Libra. Get out of the head. Put it into the motion. It is in the top right here. So um, it is of the utmost importance and one of the main focuses. So now it's time to put some motion behind things. So if you've been ill over the last couple of months, you know you need to move around. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it's it's uh, you're a little stiff, but that's okay. Start off slow. Uh, you know you're in, in a job that is not giving you what you want and it's just pulling things from you. It's time to start redoing your resume, putting it out there, things like that. That's what I'm talking about. Ta it's time for some positive motion in the direction direction that you wish to be in. The Eight of Cups is here. It does look like you've had to walk away from something that was comfortable for you for a while. This can be a relationship. This can be a job. This can be a friendship, a home. Uh, but it does look like you did try your very best to um, resolve these things. And sometimes the better part of valor is walking away from a situation. It is next to this King of Wands. It is next to the Ace of Cups. So it does feel like some a friendship, a relationship, um, something that you've had to walk away from. And it does look like it has brought up some grief for you. This can even mean um, someone transitioning into uh, or passing away, dying, um, that you've had to kind of walk away from those those um, immediate 
feels, immediate feelings, because it does look like there's a lot of them. So it does look like you're in the rebuilding stage. So from whatever this is that you had to walk away from and walk into the unknown, it does feel like the moon here is lighting your way, that you are not alone on this journey, and just take that first step, and then the rest will be easier if you haven't already um, started the withdrawal. Um, started to go in a different direction, I should say. So this Eight of Cups is you walking away from a situation that really wasn't healthy, wasn't serving you anymore. Anyway, King of Swords, I mean, uh, Ten of Swords, uh, all tens are like the completion or something. It does feel like you were betrayed in some way. Uh, it is right next to the Eight of Cups, so this may have facilitated you walking away. If it is a love connection, it can be anywhere from um, sexual betrayal, money betrayal, lying, manipulating, stealing, things like this. So it does look like it got to the lower levels before you were able to walk away. And if it is um, not to do with your uh, love relationship, it can be a work relationship. Um, it can just be a friendship that wasn't working or something that wasn't working for you, but it does look like you had to get to the depths of despair before you would really change this karma, sweet Libra. So that Ten of Swords, um, it really does look like you got wounded over this um, and that you're kind of sitting with that right now and um, in the middle of that process of, you know, what to do next? What do, where do I go next? But it does look like spirit is requiring some motion from you pretty darn soon. Um, so don't stay in there and fester. Uh, but it does look like it had to bring, be brought all the way down to a certain depth for you to change that or to be aware of the change that needs to take place. The five of wands can be quite a tumultuous card. It can mean, you know, bickering. It can mean getting just dis disagreeing, being put, you know, up against the wall, kind of cornered into uh, making a decision that you don't want to make. Uh, but for the most part, a, a five of wands can uh, mean things happening around you that maybe you didn't facilitate, but you get stuck with the cleanup work. So it does look like this requires a little more of your action and your attention <clears throat> before you can move into the healing space and the rejuvenation space. So that five of wands is kind of all surrounding you. It's feeling Libra. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel that isn't a train. It is an ace of swords. So aces are the hands of God. The car Karmic things, the highest level of things. Swords are our intellect. Swords are our words, um, the higher levels of thinking. And aces of swords are usually news or problems, can be difficulties. This can be resolving tra trauma. This can be resolving uh, problems that relate to maybe even a younger person. So, um, but, but uh, swords usually are about having strength, spiritual growth, um, having willpower, and to speak your truth. This is kind of like the truth sword here. Um, so collect information if you need to. Um, get your words right before you have to have this conversation. Um, make sure you present with love and kindness to facilitate change and growth. Uh, but, but the ace is here. Uh, Ace of Swords is here to remind you that it's time to have some conversations and keep it light, keep it in integrity, um, but it's going to happen whether you want it to or not, so you might as well initiate that change. Five of Swords is right here. It's across from this other five, and it does look like this row can be quite challenging. It does look like you took a hit of the heart, whether I said uh, it's a dissolution of a marriage or relationship. It could be a passing of someone um, into the light or leaving their body. Let me be clear, dying. Um, but it does feel like this five of swords that um, you've kind of relinquished some control. You may have just um, decided to just be with what is happening instead of trying to make any big changes and letting, to, letting see how things um, resolve around you. It does feel like there is some 
uh, discord around you that is not initiated by you. So uh, whether it's a breakup of a relationship, someone dying, it does feel like the people that are involved around it have some opinions uh, and maybe fighting a little bit or um, just having extra challenges due to this situation that has just happened. The devil is here. That's usually a temptation for those uh, that have embraced sobriety. Uh, this may be, you know, someone offering you a drink if you've been sober from um, drugs or alcohol. So uh, this may be this relationship coming back to you going, oh, I changed my mind. It is just a test. It is just a test. So I encourage you to follow your heart, to go through, um, go through that journey. Keep those boundaries really clear. It is up to you whether you go back to this relationship or not, but it does feel like it's more of the same. I will warn you, it is more of the same, that this change just feels like it is temporary change and that it will go right back. So whether it's drugs or alcohol, you know, that can be opening up a whole different Pandora's box that you may not be willing to open again, or a relationship that really didn't work and, oh, I miss you, I miss you kind of thing. So it does feel like there is a little bit of a challenge and just a, a little bit of a test. Are you sure you changed your mind? Are you sure you want that new job? Stuff like that. The Eight of Swords is here. It does feel like this money stuff might have been laying on your shoulders for, bear, uh, for, for a while. It may be interrupting your sleep patterns. It may be interrupting your nutrition or your stomach. You may have a stomach ache, a headache. It does feel like a lot of these worries are coming out physically for you. So... Um, I know that meditation works for me, just finding a, uh, a quiet place in my head to say hey to the spirit. Um, I call it God. Some people call it spirit. Some people call it the major Twinkie. Whatever works for you. Uh, if it's a tree, whatever works for you. But it does look like just finding that quiet place in yourself um, and kind of uh, getting rid of any interruptions from the outside world, just five minutes a day will help clear your head so it won't be spinning over the woulda, coulda, shouldas that feels like it's happening. It does feel like there's a little bit of um, taking your own inventory with this. If I did this this way, this wouldn't have happened. Realize everything that happens to us on this planet, good, bad, indifferent, ugly, wonderful, is something we learn from and is something that were supposed to have happen. Um, sometimes that's a little hard to rationalize, but it does feel like this journey that you're on will propel you into your greatness a little bit more. So the quicker you look at it, the quicker you resolve it, the quicker you can go into that kind of manifestation stage. It does feel like you're doing a little cleanup on a physical side. So you may be cleaning, actually cleaning out the corners of your house or spiritually cleaning things out or letting go of friendships that, that don't work for you anymore. But all this is laying really heavy on your head, heavy on your heart, and it does feel like your stomach's taking a, um, a bit of a, a hit on this. So you may be getting headaches, having trouble sleeping, upset stomach, things like that. So the less um, you can you know, hang it in your head, the more you can let it go, um, the better your creature comforts will be for your body. Uh, on one side of it is the uh, Six of Pentacles. It does feel like your money is coming into balance a little bit more. You're a little bit more aware of where it's going to, when it's coming in. It does feel like some of these fives have kind of dictated cleanup. Oh, you have another five here too, Pentacles. Uh, so it does look like you're starting to pay off some of those bills that have been hanging over your head or at least have a plan to do so. Um, it does feel like things are getting a little bit more in balance. Sometimes the Six of Pentacles can be the inheritance. Um, it also can mean helping others. So make sure you help yourself first before you help others. It's, it is not a selfish thing to pay your bills off and to take care of your creature comforts before you take care of others. This includes children, especially adult children that need to move out. That's coming in very clearly, Libra. I'm feeling a little bit of codependency with some children here, adult children that are living in the home. Um, I'm 
feeling with the Six of Pentacles, you may have to present to them that either they uh, move out, go to school, or start paying rent. Um, no more free rides is what's coming up. That will help you get your finances in balance. And they are old enough. You have taught them very well, sweet Libra. So it is time for them to take those lessons out into the world, either fall on their face and pick themselves up or to succeed. But to continue to wipe their uh, psychic butts is not good for you, Libra. Sorry, but this is coming in very, very intensely. So it's time to uh, put some boundaries on those adult children and how they um, kind of exploit, exploit your kindness, exploit your money. Um, but you have bought into that too. So it's time to set some really clear boundaries. No is a complete sentence, capital N, period at the end of the O. So uh, five of pentacles also feels like a little bit more strain on your finances, collecting information, doing a plan, uh, really making those changes financially so you can get caught up on things if you need to. So that is your general reading Libra for the month of October. I'm going to throw a couple of these chakra cards. I really like these. Let's see what's happening. Instinct. Trust your instinct. Always trust your instinct. Uh, the first thing that comes off the top of your head, usually uh, that's the way I discern. The first thing that comes off the top of my head is usually the best way. And start moving. Start getting towards your quests and stop cleaning up other people's messes. It's time to get things balanced in your world, Libra. I know that is your ultimate quest. So now it's time to do that.